Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, 10 Minute Photoshop and IMX Productions. And today I'm doing some promotion for my upcoming film, Zombie Jitsu. It's a really cool zombie martial arts movie that we're working on. Click on the poster and you can check out our Indiegogo pitch video. We're asking for support to get the project going. But 10 Minute Photoshop is a Photoshop training website, so I figured the best way to cross promote is to show you guys how we achieve that zombie effect in the poster. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Here we have our stock image of our model wearing his black belt and holding it this way here. But his hands look pretty alive. We want to zombify his hands. Okay, so the first thing I did is select the arm so that whatever changes I make is only going to affect the arms, not the belt, not the gi, or anything around. Okay, so I've made that selection. As you can see here, I've created a mask on a folder. So everything that appears within that folder, within that group, will only apply to the arms. Okay, so let's apply a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I'm going to drop the saturation. This is going to give the arms a more kind of dead feel. So already they're grayed out a little bit, looking a little dead. Okay, that's our first one. Now we're going to add another um, a curves adjustment, and we're just going to make some more contrast. So make the curve upwards here, down here, add a bit of contrast. All right, so we're looking a little more dead. And we can always go back and adjust a little less saturation again this way here. Okay, yet another curves this way here. And what we're going to do is we're going to really, really up the saturation, like really far up. And then we're going to click on red. We're going to up the red a little bit. And this makes it, you know, a bit more bloody. Okay. Now what we want to do though is take that adjustment layer and fill it black so that it doesn't actually appear. Then we're going to grab a brush, low, no hardness, fairly small brush, and down the opacity about 20-ish. Mm, now you're going to start drawing around the arm. This adds that red bloody feel, just like that. You can draw that around. Now, of course, these techniques can be used not only to do to make uh, to turn someone into a zombie, but also just to, uh, to add some blood or some grit um, to whatever poster, whatever you're doing. Okay, looking pretty good. Now we're going to create a new layer. We're going to grab a dark red brush, and we're just going to add a bit more blood, a bit more redness, red feel. So up the brush and simply draw in. And we want to make that layer overlay. So we're just putting in a bit more gross red spots around here. Just like that. And because we did adjustment layers, you can always come back and adjust, make it slightly darker this way here. Perfect. Now after this, what we want to do is you want to go find some pictures on Google Video. So I've got this picture here that I found on Google Images of some nice kind of gross lesions and cuts there like that. So I'm just going to select around like this. Okay, and we're going to copy and paste that image. We're going to bring that into our image into our arm here. And we're just going to place this wherever we want like that. There we go. Add an adjustment layer. And then all we're going to do is we're going to grab our brush, make sure it's black, low this way here. And we're we just going to smooth out those edges and blend it into our hand. This, There you go. Got a nice gross feel. And it's a little, the color's a little strong. So um, on that layer, we'll just come up here, adjustment, hue and saturation, drop the saturation a little bit, like that, a little more. That and one more time, adjustment curves, 
just to make it a little, little darker. Like that, that looks good. Now something else you can do is find a nice crackled texture like this, set the overlay, set the blending mode to overlay, put that into your arms folder, and then place it over this way here. And obviously I don't want to use this whole thing because that just looks kind of weird. So once again, we black out the mask, we grab our brush, white color, low opacity, and just start painting in where we want those fun cracks like that to appear, making the hand look a little dirtier. We can copy that layer, bring it over to the other side, add some similar cuts and stuff to the other side. Okay, I also found this nice uh, photoshopped Tom Cruise zombie here, but I really like this scar in the forehead, so we can once again copy that. Okay, get rid of the rest, put this in our arm this way here, bring it here, and then just rotate like that. And same as before, we add a mask, we grab our brush, black, and simply draw out the edges and make it blend a little better. Okay, so I mean you can put as much or as little time as you want into creating your zombie arms. Okay, or and of course these same techniques can be used for for making turning a face into a zombie. I'm using arms for this poster, but whatever you want. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the video for Zombie Jitsu and um, check out the website and on Twitter IMX Productions. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.